If you're thinking about becoming an engineer, then you need to watch this video because I am going to tell you five key characteristics of engineers to help you decide if it's the career for you. Hello, welcome. I'm Hayley Laurent. And if this is the very first time that you're here, I provide lots of tips, advice, and help about being an engineer and becoming an engineer. And I'm also gonna be doing lots of really cool interviews with awesome people um, and lots of engineering general stuff. So if that sounds good to you, be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button, which is underneath this video, um, and the little bell that's right next to it as well. Firstly, happy Easter. Well, it's gonna be Easter very, very soon. Um, so I hope you have a fantastic break if you're gonna take any time off. I know I'm gonna be eating lots and lots of chocolate and I cannot wait. So enjoy it. So I'm gonna tell you five key characteristics of engineers. And obviously this doesn't encompass all characteristics. These are what I think are the main five. And you may be a little bit surprised, especially about the last one. So make sure you stick around. Number one, curiosity. Engineers tend to be curious about the world around them and that doesn't just mean rockets and cars, although they are very cool. The truth is that engineering expands into so many different areas. Now we can design viruses and we can design bionic arms to help people. And engineering even expands into the fashion industry. Number two, problem solving. Engineers solve problems. That's what we do. We enjoy it. And it can be technical and nitty gritty involving maths, but also it can be on a bigger level, on a broader level as well. So no matter what the problem is, engineers approach it and they enjoy challenges. It's kind of like a really fun puzzle. Number three, analytical. Okay, so this is probably the one that you will think of when you think of an engineer. If you close your eyes and you try to imagine one, you probably think, oh, it's somebody that's really into maths. Yes, being analytical is important because we do use software and we do need to assess different solutions to find the right one and the one that actually works. Engineers tend to have really good attention to detail and this is pretty important for the safety of people because you wouldn't really want a mobile phone in your pocket that caught on fire because it didn't work properly. So being analytical is good. Number four, scientific. Engineers love science. We really, really, really love science. We really do. And it makes sense because engineers Engineering is the application of science in order to solve problems. So it makes sense that we're gonna like science, but you might be surprised to know that it is not just physics and it's not just maths either. It also involves other sciences. So biology and chemistry are so important and it really depends on the different areas that you specialize in. And if you want me to do more of a video on that, then let me know in the comments below because I can talk about that too. Number five, this is the one the one that you might end up being a little bit surprised about and that is because it is creativity. Why do I always do this? Creativity. So of course being analytical and scientific is important because you're actually gonna be designing stuff but you need creativity and imagination to be able to dream up amazing technology. I mean, just think, mobile phones, laptops, that, those just were plucked out of somebody's brain. Okay, yeah, so being analytical and being scientific are really important in being an engineer, but creativity is what pushes technology forward. We need creativity in order to be able to dream up innovative and amazing new ideas. And this is how we manage to get mobile phones and laptops and virtual reality and augmented reality and social media. I mean, can you imagine your life without social media now? I really hope this video has been useful for you and it's shown you that engineering isn't just about being really good at maths and physics. There's so much more. You have to be creative. You have to be good at communication. What I want to know from you is whether you've been surprised by any of these characteristics and, and has it made you think, hmm, maybe I can be an engineer. Do let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, remember to subscribe. I produce a video every single Wednesday. So if you wanna hear from me, then click that button along with the bell that's right next to it. And I will see you next Wednesday. Thank you.